Greetings, this is Danny Filth, and you're about to feast your eyes on From the Cradle to Enslave. Yeah, this was like a prelude to um, our full movie that we did called Cradle of Fear. And uh, the movie came out of uh, the fact that this video is like a, I think they call it a portmanteau, portmanteau? a collection of uh, little stories that all were interwoven, a bit like a, uh, one of the British amicus movies um, of the late 70s. Um, basically, a friend of ours who worked for the band um, introduced us to a movie director called Alex Shandon, um, who was really into his like weird horror movies, uh, very gory horror movies. He'd done a few low-budget stuff before, and so he brought him in to do this and um, basically we, we used a load of people that were from different films, um, like the dwarves, they all worked on, or little people we had to call them. In fact, I went to one of the little people's weddings um, because they were appearing as in Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, so that was, that was pretty funny. Um, they were all work, you know, they worked for, they've been on like Saving Private Ryan and uh, Hellraiser and things like that. And the amputee he'd been working on. Oh, he was in Saving Private Ryan. He gets his leg blown off on um, the beach in Normandy in the film. Um, yeah, and it was it was like a, a big thing because it's 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 got some nudity in it. It's a lot of gore and horror and stuff. And so it became quite an infamous video. And uh, yeah, like I say, it became a catalyst. Um, this bit's really cool, actually. Where uh, this is this is the. Uh, there were two versions. This is the actual censored version because in the uncensored version, they don't have violins, so they're just cutting their wrists with the uh, violin bows, which was my idea. Um, yeah, it's a really strange, fucked up video. I love it. And it, like I say, it became a catalyst for a full-blown horror movie called Cradle of Fear, which essentially has the majority of the same people in it. Uh, not him, though. No. That little weird creature. He wasn't in it. <laughs> He's, like, jiving there. Um, yeah, the majority of the people, the girls, the models, they, they were all turned up in uh, Cradle of Fear. But, yeah, it was our first video as well. We, I mean, late in the day, because we'd already done four albums with no video. Which was, uh, so we thought, if we're going to do a video, it's going to be uh, and uh, yeah, our drummer there. He he didn't even last for an album. <laughs> I mean, it's anything he was ever on. Um, yeah, we thought that if we're going to do a video, it's got to be brutal. It's got to be something that people really want to see. Um, and yeah, a lot of these girls as well were from the London sort of fetish scene, uh, whom we knew. Um, yeah. It was a real labour of love, and so was Cradle of Fear. I, I sort of invested in that as well. Um, and people keep asking us, are you going to make a second part to that movie? And it's like, yeah, have you got like three, four million pounds <laughs> to lend us? Um, everybody worked on deferred payment for the movie um, because they loved being involved with this and they saw that it was, you know, it was a good thing. It was getting noticed and uh, God, look how young I look there. What to act. Um, yeah, what more do you want me to say about it? This is an old lineup as well. So uh, I'm the only surviving member of this video. We killed the rest of them shortly after this. Obviously, the effects are going to be ancient. Let's have a look. Oh no, not too bad. Oh no, there you go. <laughs> that wasn't actually that bad. Yeah, there you have it from the cradle to enslave. I picked this video because it was our first and I, I, I think it's our most graphic. Um, but it's also got a really cool story to it. I mean, like I say, there's like four little parts, little segments that all fit into the puzzle of a larger story, which essentially was the premise uh, behind the feature movie, was that it was like four stories that, that all were linked by the tale of the serial killer and uh, everything comes into fruition at the end, so you realise what on earth has been going on.
a lot of the people involved in this became like Eileen Daly uh, was one of the women there. She she became quite a very famous fetish model. Ended up on TV recently on one of those um, Britain's Got Talent. She was on there as a hippie for some reason. She just turned, she went from being like this sort of vamp goth va vamp model to being some weird hippie strumming a guitar. And the other girl in it. Emily Booth now hosts the British Horror Channel. Um, and like I say, most of those other extras in it were all parts of other films. I, I, the reason I get distracted is because every time I think of saving Ryan, uh, saving Private Ryan, I say shaving Ryan's privates. And that's a really bad mistake I made when I bought my grandma that for Christmas. She wasn't impressed. 